This recent sell-off is scary by anyone's definition, but Vanguard investors don't appear to be phased at all. They continue to pour money into the funds, even more so than at the start of 2020. This is clearly the opposite of weak hands. What accounts for their conviction? Scars, first of all, thank you for having me today. Glad to talk about what most Vanguard investors are doing, which is nothing. Some are rebalancing and buying into the market itself. Um, really, what we always talk to investors about is having a balanced, diversified portfolio and discipline and be ready for market turmoil and have a plan in advance. And we're seeing that across our investors, whether it be in ETFs or our regular traditional mutual funds. So how much of these inflows is target date investors or model portfolios versus people buying or selling on different platforms? Yes, yeah, so you're seeing three different measures of it. You're seeing ETF flows, which uh, Eric's talked about um, several times, and the focus. We're also seeing in our traditional equity index funds, you know, net purchasers in traditionally. And then you're seeing our target date funds, which are rebalancing away from bonds and into stocks. As the uh, stock market goes down, every day we rebalance those back to a target allocation, depending on where they are in the life cycle. And that's creating, we've seen $20 billion worth of a buying of our own products for our clients who have chosen the discipline of a target date fund mm -hmm. as an option. So you're seeing it in all places. Our investors are well behaved and thinking about the long term, not reacting to the market moves of the day. And we've seen real market moves, as you're well aware. So this is clearly a loyal and well-trained group of investors, especially in equities. I wonder what would make them break? Do they have a breaking point? Um, you know, again, we have 2008 to, as a reminder where investors really stayed through. We really want investors to be thinking about buying and to re-diversifying or rebalancing their portfolio through all conditions. You know, again, at a certain point, investors do, you know, think and pause a bit. But ultimately, you know, we're talking about investors who should be thinking about using equities for 10 years onward for their portfolio and not thinking about the moments of the day. Mm. Just as a reminder, you know. Every two years, you see a 10% market move. Every seven years, historically, you see a 20% market move. So these are just the facts of what you deal with in terms of the market. And equities are for the long term, not for the short term. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned 2008 because we saw during that year that Vanguard took in cash every single month of the year, including October. Eric calls this uh, Navy SEALs level discipline. Um, how much are we seeing the Vanguard effect spill over into the broader retail investor universe? Because we saw inflows into Schwab and iShares core ETFs as well. Um, I think the Vanguard effect is really affecting all investors. You're seeing it from the advisor channel, where advisors are thinking about a long-term, well-balanced portfolio and really helping their clients with behavioral discipline. You're seeing it in retail, where more investors believe the Vanguard story of long-term, disciplined, goals-based investing at low cost, mm -hmm. and you're seeing it through those in the, you know, the retirement community are using target date funds. And so again, I think hopefully after 2008, more clients get the Vanguard way of investing, and they may be doing it through multiple channels, not just at Vanguard today. And that's good for all investors. And of course, Vanguard in invented the index fund, John Vogel did, but uh, ETFs now make up 20% of your assets, but 38% of your flows. Why do you think ETFs are punching above their weight when it comes to flows? What does that tell you? Um, I think you're, what you're seeing is investors have embraced the ETF platform. And what you've seen there is, you know, no commission costs have allowed more investors more access to index products and ETFs, and they're adopting those. The really good news, though, Scarlett, is that they're not trading them every day. Mm. You know, at Vanguard, we're seeing 99% of our investors haven't done anything. It's only 1% who are taking action, and they're tending to buy equities and move into positions and taking on the chance to buy stocks at a lower price. So we're seeing really well-behaved investors who are thinking about their long-term portfolios, not the short-term.